Grubb, physical therapist. And I'm Brad Hynek, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion. In our opinion. Well, talk, Brad? well, yeah, I'd like <laughs> to talk, but what, oh yeah, we're going to talk about this subject. I wanted to talk about my, my socks. Zoom in on this one, Nancy. Look at this. The fat tire Schwamme. Now, if you're into mountain bike racing, you know this fat tire race is one of the largest mountain bike races in the United States in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Hayward, yeah. 1,600 right. bikes, Bob. All right. Let's, let's, let's talk about compression yeah, fractures. Let's talk about Bob. compression oh, fractures yeah. now. All right. All right, uh, this is kind of a serious business, and, and which reminds me, this is something that generally happens in the elderly or as you get older, 50, 60, 70. Sure. And if you're of that age, you're going to want to subscribe to our YouTube site, uh, Physical Therapy Video, uh, Physical Therapy Video, because that's the uh, topic that we tend to discuss is health and fitness for the person who's 50 and over. Right. As a matter of fact, just today, yeah, I saw... Even if you're 40, you can do it. I'm 40, 50. Okay. I'm sorry. This morning uh, on TV, I was uh, actually I was exercising. You got a TV on the wall now, and uh, they had a whole section on uh, diagnosing people and scanning people for bone density. Oh, Talk very good. Things. And I, I just thought about that this morning. And that so. fits right with this because the person who has less dense bones, so let's say as an osteo osteopenia or osteoporosis, um, you're going to be at much more risk for this. In fact. Uh, quite often, I've seen people who have not really done anything uh, s seriously wrong, no falls or anything like that, but they still ended up getting a compression fracture. And we're going to show you how this happens. Sure. So why don't we start off with the uh, spine? All right. Wow, what a throw! We got a couple students here today from yeah. University of La Crosse, Wisconsin, Physical Therapy Department, doctorate program. Yeah, Sam and Brittany. Come on in. Yeah, come, come on in. in. Yeah, yeah. So. Just say hi. Hi. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> we might use you later. We might use you to show you. Okay, this is the spine. And first off, let's let's just show you what a compression fracture looks like on this diagram here. Can you zoom in on that, Nancy? All right. These are obviously two normal vertebrae, and you can see the normal height on them, even height all the way along here. This is a compression, and a compression fracture is just what I could sound. It got compressed down. So the front end is actually smaller than the back end here, and uh, you can see that if you can see that line right there, that represents the fracture right here. So we're going to demonstrate how this happens, and generally the, the mechanism of how it happens. You want to zoom back out, well, Bob? Could, as far as this this uh, picture here, where is that on the spine itself on the model here? It would be one. This looks like well, we oh, that looks like it is a lumbar vertebrae. So it'd be so lower down yeah, in the lower back. down here. To be honest, I think they more often happen in the thoracic right, right, right. in the mid part of the back. So in the mid back, right. And I'll show you why in just a second here. This again, yeah, we have a, a normal spine here. Um, this is where your head would be. This is your pelvis. These are the legs. Now, what puts pressure on the mid back here is this position right here. This rounded out, slouched, slumped position. And in fact, I read in the literature a friend of mine who's actually quite well versed in this area, they call this a hinging effect. It's like there's a hinge right here, and there's pressure from here, and there's pressure because this is fixed down here. And so the, the pressure tends to happen right in that mid-thoracic, mid-back area. So this is the area, this, just by putting your back in this position can put you at risk for a uh, compression fracture when you have osteoporosis or osteopenia, which tends to happen after menopause. Um, uh, in women. Females have a higher risk of it. Females have a higher risk. Right. We see many more uh, females with this. So this is that posture. Can you see this? That's where this rounded posture and if you pay attention you'll see that. They call it kyphosis, thoracic kyphosis. And That's where you see the little ladies and old men that are you know humped over like this and once they have a compression fracture they're even more humped over. Yep. And if you, the thing is if you have your back in that position like this, and then you pick something up. Now you've added increased stress on that back, and that's where just I've had people just from doing that, they picked up something and and, and even very light objects, even very light objects, and that was enough to put them over the edge. And let me tell you, this is not a fun thing. This right. is a very painful sure. uh, situation. Yep. And what the only way really to treat it, although they do have um, some surgical procedures now where they do vertebroplasties and stuff right. like that. But usually they try non-surgically first to treat it, and basically it's letting, allowing it heal, 
and staying out of this position. Right. They have braces made to put on the, the turtle brace they call yeah, it, the turtle right here to, to keep you up. It's just another confirmation of how important posture is, good posture throughout your life. Keeping things aligned. We're going to show you, give you a demonstration here of how this uh, compression fracture actually works. Good throw, nice throw, Sam. All right. Did you so play ball? Yeah. <laughs> she, did she played ball. All right. So here we got a couple of vertebrae. All right. Here's one. Here's another. And this is going to represent a vertebrae. This is just a piece of foam. I wanted to do it with a marshmallow. I thought a marshmallow would be really cool. You know? That's what I tell people. It's like squeezing down a marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. So I never do that one. Okay. That's a good idea, though. Marshmallow. So anyway, again, you got the lower end that's kind of fixated because, you know, you got your legs. So and the upper end is, is bending forward like this, so it's just very simple. You bend forward like this, and what happens? The pressure squeezes down, and if you have a normal, healthy vertebrae, that's not going to happen. It'll maintain its height, but if you have one that is maybe a little bit less dense and, and has lost some bone mass. Yeah, the integrity is, is broke down as a, you know, as a result of it. It can just crush right down right. like this. So this would be, if you want to look at it on the spine, you might be looking at this vertebra. This one and this one and the middle one here as a result of bending for the, you know, poor posture and poor body mechanics increases that compression stress on there causing the fracture. And you can't get away from this. I mean, you can't, uh, I mean, as you get older, you're, I mean, there's no way you can get away with this position like this. It's just you're always going to be at risk if you, if you put your back in that position. Right. So you're really going to want to work on keeping your, your posture and even working it the other way a little bit. Right. So what can we do to prevent this, Bob? Stay out of this position, Brad. <laughs> but I mean, other things as far as diet, I know they talk about, you, know, oh. you can talk to your doctor about that. The right. therapist, I don't get into the diet much, but I know that my area. Yeah, you, you're, you can talk to your doctor too. or dietitian. There are ways that your diet can also supplement the integrity of the bones. Um, so it's posture, integrity of your bones. Um, exercise too, as far as oh, weight, yeah, weight lifting. Keep, mm -hmm. yep, keeps That's something keep you gotta talk to someone that knows how to lift and uh, just don't go grab some weights and start lifting to try and help your bone density. Sounds good.